Swami Gautamanaji Maharaj, Vice President worldwide, to present a memento to our Honorable Narendra Modi ji. Thank you, Maharaj. The small books have been, also been presented. It's a really a great day, very historic day of India as well as our Amakshan Martin mission. So, in Nikuru Panana, or Saritanava in the Nana Lil, Namingo Pudir Kumbode, Namatu Madil. Namada Bharata Pradamar, Tirnarendra Modi Javaragal, Vandripada, Migavu, Migu, Miga Miga or Mukima Nala Gamin Dri Krade, Sade Nam Avare, Varuga Varuga Vandru, Vanakam Kuri, Varver Kurum. So now I humbly request Swami Gaudam Nanji to deliver the welcome and benedict address. Om Stapakaya Chadharmasya. Sarva Dharma Swarupine Avatar Varishtaya Ramakrishna Yate Namaha Dear and Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi Ji Honorable Governor Sri Arun Ravi Ji The Honorable Minister of State for Industries Tiru Tangam Tenarashi Honorable Dr. L. Murugan Union Minister of State, Swami Muktidananji Maharaj, Trustee Berurmat, Brother Monks, Brahmacharins and devotees. We are indeed very fortunate to have with us today our Honorable Prime Minister on the occasion of the 125th Foundation Day celebrations of Sri Ramakrishna Mat Chennai. This is the first branch center of the worldwide Ramakrishna Mat, started by Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna himself and nurtured by Swami Vivekananda. This center stands as a symbol of Swamiji's effort at having a universal spiritual center to spread the universal teachings of Sri Ramakrishna and the grand truths of the Vedanta to awaken the world. तेरे इस छोटे से ढक्कन से मेरे पूरे कपड़े महक जाते हैं। तेरी झाग से मेरे पूरे कपड़े साफ हो जाते हैं। Oswald detergent liquid. To a life of spirituality, strength, divine brotherhood, and mutual service. This is a center where the spiritual greatness of Swami Vivekananda was recognized even before he left to USA for attending the Parliament of Religions by a circle of sincere spiritual seekers of the then Madras Presidency. It was here that encouraged by his devotees, followers, Swami Vivekananda's intention of going to the West to participate in the World Parliament of Religions at Chicago took a practical shape on his various on his victorious return from the West, it was here that the great Swami stayed for nine days in this building from February 6th to 15th of 1897. It is again here that Swamiji's ideas had instant mass appeal and overwhelming response which makes this place a great center of the Ramakrishna movement. It was here again that Sri Ramakrishna's another illustrious disciple, Swami Ramakrishna Nanda, also called Shashi Maharaj, by his life of intense devotion and complete dedication to his Guru, Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna, he made Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna's name a living reality and established Sri Ramakrishna Mat firmly here for the good of the many for the welfare of the many. Bohujana Hitaya, Bohujana Sukhaya. On this momentous occasion, I joyfully welcome our Honorable Prime Minister, who has 
very kindly come here to pay homage to Bhagavan Sri Ram Krishna, whom he truly worships, and also to Swami Vivekananda, whom he truly follows. May the choicest blessings of Sri Ram Krishna be upon him. May he be blessed with strength and wisdom to lead this great nation to greater and greater glory in the decades to come. I also welcome the Honorable Governor for his kind presence with us here today. I also welcome the Honorable State Minister of Industries for representing the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Thiru M. K. Stalin. May the blessings of Sri Ramakrishna, the Holy Mother Sharda Devi and Swami Vivekananda be on all of them is my heartfelt prayer to them. Jai Ram Krishna. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you, Maharaj, for your kind welcome and blessings. Now I request our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modiji to release the book titled The Holy Trio Life and Legacy, written by Swami Tapasya Nanji. Oru nool veli yudu bija. Namadu barada pradamar avargalai andar release panna veli yudu maru anbudan kethu kali karo. Thank you, Prime Sirji, for kindly releasing the book. Ramanandri. Now it is time for us to listen to the, our chief guest, Sri Narendra Modi ji, the Prime Minister of India, to deliver his chief guest address to the gathering. Though it is a small gathering, but तेरे इस छोटे से ढक्कन से मेरे पूरे कपड़े महक जाते हैं तेरी झाक से मेरे पूरे कपड़े साफ हो जाते हैं ओस्वाल डिटर्जेंट लिक्विड इट इस सेलेक्टेड गैदरिंग वी अंबले रिक्वेस्ट अवर नरेंद्र मोदी जी टू डेलीवर दिस स्पीच बारदा पिरोज मरवा गए अनबुडन पेश आर्डर किरो वेलकम My pranam to Sri Ramakrishna Paramahams, Mata Sharda Devi, and Swami Vivekananda. Governor of Tamil Nadu, Sri R. N. Ravi Ji, Saints of the Chennai Ramakrishna Math, and my dear people of Tamil Nadu. My greetings to all of you. Friends, I am happy to be with you all. Ram Krishna Mata is an institution I deeply respect. It has played an important role in my life. This institution is celebrating the 125th anniversary of its service in Chennai. This brings me to another reason for my happiness. I am among the Tamil people from whom I have great affection. I love the Tamil language, Tamil culture, and the vibe of Chennai. Today, I got the opportunity to visit the Vivekananda house. Swami Vivekananda had stayed here after he returned from his famous trip of the West. Meditating here 
with a special experience. I feel inspired and energetic. I'm also happy to see that ancient ideas are reaching the younger generation through modern technology here. Friends, Saint Tiruvalluvar sage in one of his verses, Puttel Ulagattum Ennum Peral Aride Oppu Ravin Nallapira. It means in both this world and the world of the gods, there is nothing like kindness. Ram Krishna Math is serving Tamil Nadu in many different areas like education, libraries and book banks, leprosy awareness, and rehabilitation. Oswald Pool Jadu. Shadi or ye dono hi lambe chale. Oswald Pool Jadu. Oswald. Har rishte ka rakhe khaya. Health care and nursing and rural development. Friends, I just spoke of the impact of the Ram Krishna Math on Tamil Nadu. But this came later. What came first was the impact that Tamil Nadu had on Swami Vivekananda. In Kanyakumari, at the famous rock, Swamiji discovered the purpose of his life. This transformed him and the impact was felt in Chicago. Later, when Swamiji returned from the west, he first set foot on the holy soil of Tamil Nadu. The Raja of Ramanath received him with a great respect. When Swamiji came to Chennai, it was very special. Romarala, the great French writer who won the Nobel Prize, described it. He says that 17 victory arches were erected. For over a week, Chennai's public life came to complete stop. It was like a festival. <laughs> Friends, Swami Vivekanan was from Bengal. He was welcomed like a hero in Tamil Nadu. This happened long before India became independent. People across the country had a clear concept of India as a nation for thousands of years. This is the spirit of Ek Bharat, Shrestha Bharat. It is the same spirit that Ram Krishna Marth works with across India. They have many institutions that serve people selflessly. Speaking of Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat, we all show the success of Kashi Tamil Sangamam. <laughs> now I heard that Saurashtra Tamil Sangamam is happening. I wish great success to all such efforts to further India's unity. Friends, our governance philosophy is also inspired by Swami Vivekananda. He said that whatever privilege is broken and equality is ensured, society progress. Today, you can see the same vision in all our flagship programs. Earlier, even basic facilities were treated like privileges. 
many people will deny the fruits of progress. Only a select few people or a small group were allowed to access it. But now the doors of development have been opened to everyone. One of our most successful schemes, Mudra Yojana, is celebrating its eighth anniversary today. Tamil Nadu small entrepreneurs have made the state a leader in Mudra Yojana. Nearly 38 crore collateral free loans have been given to small entrepreneurs. A huge number of these people are women and people from marginalized section of the society. Getting a bank loan for business was a privilege, but now it is reaching everyone. Similarly, basic things like a house, electricity, LPG connections, toilets, and more are reaching every family. Friends, Swami Vivekananda had a grand vision for India. Today, I'm sure he is proudly watching India working to fulfill his vision. His most central message was about faith in ourselves and our country. Today, many experts are saying this will be India's century. More importantly, every Indian feels it is our time now. We engage with the world from the position of confidence and mutual respect. Swamiji used to say that we are nobody to help women. When they have the right platform, they will lead society and solve problems themselves. Today, India believes in women-led development. Whether it is startup or sports, armed forces or higher education, women are breaking barriers and making records. <laughs> Swamiji believed sports and fitness to be crucial for character development. Today, society has begun to see sports as a professional choice rather than just an extra activity. Yoga, and Fit India have become mass movements. Swamiji believed that education empowers. He also wanted technical and scientific education. Today, the national education policy has brought in reforms that bring global best practices to India. Skill development has received unprecedented support. We also have one of the world's most vibrant tech and scientific ecosystems. Friends, it was in Tamil Nadu that Swami Vivekanand said something significant for the India of today. He said that even assimilating five ideas and leaving them fully was very powerful. We just celebrated 75 years of independence. The nation has set its sights on making the next 25 years as Amrit Kal. This Amrit Kal can be used to achieve great things by assimilating five ideas, the Panch Prana. These are goal of a developed India. 
removing any traces of colonial mindset. कम से कम पानी में दे सफाई बेशुमार। इसमें है नेचुरल ऑयल। ये कपड़ों के संग। आंतों का भी रखें ख्याल। तो आज ही करें इस्तेमाल। ओस्वाल, ओस्वाल, ओस्वाल। ओस्वाल हर रिश्ते का रखें ख्याल। Celebrating our heritage, strengthening unity, focusing on our duties. Can we all collectively and individually resolve to follow these five principles? If 140 crore people make such a resolve, then we can build a developed, self-reliant and inclusive India by 2047. I am sure that in this mission, we have Swami Vivekananda's blessings. Thank you. Manakam. Thank you, Modiji. Today we are really blessed to listen to our Honorable Prime Minister's moving speech. We heartily thank him for his kind acceptance and participation in this function. It is Swami Vivekananda said, My spirit will work with you, you go on watching. His spirit is working through our Prime Minister. It is undoubtedly we believe the same Narendra who came as Vivekananda is in Narendra Modi working through it. So, all of you are very nandri. In this case, we are going to talk about it. It is a big deal. It is a Saritra Vahind Nigal. It is a very, very historical moment. All world is watching. We are very happy, very proud of our honoured Prime Minister. Though time is short, but we are blessed to be amongst him. So, thank you all. Namaskar. Namaskar. We thank all the people, we thank our Minister of State, Minister of Central and Governor Ji. Thank you all. Jai Shri Guru Maharaj Ji Ki Jai. So you were watching this straight forward. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been working in Chennai with Shri Ramakrishna Mutt in the 125th century of Shri Ramakrishna Mutt.